I love the look of this stylized grass that I created for um, a recent animation I made. So I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how you can recreate it yourself. Um, in my scene, uh, you can see it here. It doesn't have any color because I uh, created it using MASH and I also uh, created the color node using MASH. So that um, will show up in the render, but not in the viewport. And this is what the fi uh, final product looks like. It's got like um, a cartoony look and it's really um, colorful. And um, yeah, so let me run you guys through how to recreate this look. Okay, so we have a brand new scene here in Maya. I'm gonna create some lights first. So I'm just gonna make a sky dome, an Arnold sky dome and create a uh, directional light and give it some angle as if it were the sun. And then I'm also gonna turn the sky dome off uh, in the shape node from the camera because I don't like rendering the sky dome. And one last little housekeeping thing, I am going to turn off the lights under the show dropdown. Okay, now we're ready to get started. I'm going to make one blade of grass. I'm gonna go to the front view and I'm also gonna turn off the light in the front view. And we're going to use a plane. So create polygon primitives plane. And we need to rotate it upward. So if I go to the channel box and rotate in the, I think it's in, in the X, yes, 90. We'll have it standing up and um, under inputs polyplane, we'll just make it one. You want to keep it as low poly as possible for this uh, style of grass and uh, just to keep things simple um, so you don't have too many uh, polygons and it really doesn't, um, it doesn't look bad with low poly. So it actually, it's part of the style here. Okay, so if we, you know, move the vert vertices around so that it kind of resembles a piece of grass and make them taper a little, there we go. That's all we need. So that is our base jumping off point with the MASH network. We've got one blade of grass and you can make it more complicated. You could add edge loops and stuff, but um, we're just gonna keep it simple. So now we need the MASH um, network. If you're in another um, drop down, you're going to want to go to FX, FX, <laughs> and you're also going to need to make sure if you don't have MASH as an option, that in your plugin manager you have MASH selected, uh, checked, and loaded. Okay, uh, once you have selected your blade, I'm actually going to name it Blade, and I'm going to select MASH, create MASH network, and that creates our MASH network right off the bat. It's, uh, we need to do some tweaking. So if I go over to the attribute editor with MASH selected, I'm gonna go to distribute and I'm gonna change the distribution type from linear to grid. And I'm also gonna make this a little bigger in the X 30, in the Z, ooh, not that big, 30. And nothing in the Y, Actually, 30 in the Y. And we're gonna do 30 here and no, nothing in the Y for um, this distribution because that would mean they'd stack on top of each other and that wouldn't make sense for grass. So um, here we are, we've got a very organized lawn. We probably should add some uh, randomization there. So I'm gonna go back to our MASH network, MASH1 back to MASH1 and add a random node. And that randomized everything. Um, and so this could be like a more messy looking lawn if you wanted that, but I kind of want it to be clean cut. So I'm gonna go over to the random attribute and I'm going to switch the position, no randomization in Y, meaning they'll all be the same height. Um, So now they're just kind of um, 
mixed up. I'm actually going to take the strength down a little. That'll keep it a little more organized, but there's still some randomness to it there. Looks fine to me. And um, look at that. We've made it pretty far already. We just need some color. So if I go back to our MASH network and I look for the color node, add the color node, everything turns white. And that's okay. That's the color that's initially selected. We're going to change it to a green. Um, we got a couple greens here. Cartoony green. Um, I like to randomize the value. That gives it like some interesting and maybe a little the hue, but not overboard for grass um, and saturation too. And there you go. You've got some colorful randomized uh, grass, but you're not done yet because when you ran um, when you render, uh, it comes out gray. It doesn't render the color node. You have to take some steps. So we're going to just do that before we finish. Um, there's a few things. It's a little annoying, but we'll make it through. Uh, you're going to want to select the repo mesh and go to the repo mesh shape. And you're going to go to the drop down for Arnold. And you're going to make sure that export for per uh, export vertex colors is selected. Then over to the next one at the met for the uh, mesh repo mesh repo, you go down to attribute. Um, output attributes and make sure that color per vertex is selected. After that, you're going to need to assign a material to the repo mesh. So right click, assign. Um, I have AI standard surface added to my favorites, so I'm going to click it here. But if you don't have it in your favorites, you would just go to assign new material AI standard surface. Now it should render um, just with the standard surface instead. And you kind of, it looks like you lost your color. So we're going to need to change that. Um, if you even assign a color, you'll see that it's on there. Uh, but in order to pull those, ver those colors we have from the MASH network, we're going to have to do a little tricky thing here. Select the checker box next to color. Go to under Arnold Utility. Um, user AI user data color. And this is the tricky part. We have to type in color set. I don't know if you need a capital S, but I always make sure it's capital S color set. And um, once that is done, you can do a quick render to see if it's going to pick up the colors. And it did. Oh, cool. It picked them up. It looks nice. I think I'm going to um, randomize the values a little bit more. So I can do that. You can make changes. Um, let's random. No, we've got it. We've got color. Color. Yeah. And you could see that like if I tune, turn up any of these, they, uh, the changes are reflected in the render. So yeah, that is how you make stylized cartoony grass. Um, I hope that you guys like it and you guys find it useful in one of your projects. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.